Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you for joining me, everybody. We're going to stop by my local fish store, Fish Bowl Pets, today. Look at this. Now that they're expanding their salt water, they just added a new tank. Look at the colors on that fish right there. Definitely has some corals here, but, you know, he's expanding on that, too. Salt water, I guess, is, uh, you know, relatively new in the last couple years here. Look at this guy. What? What a, I would I would get him, but I just I'm afraid I don't have a place to put him right now. But I would definitely get this fish. On another note, congratulations to the Los Angeles Lakers for winning yet another title. Now I would have watched, but my fish, well, they're afraid of nets. Get it? <laughs> so I didn't watch. Oh, and I also want to compliment all of the sports for the brilliant business idea of uh, mixing politics with sports. You know, the one place we get to get a break from it all, but good for them. It's really a good job. Good job mixing the both, guys. So let's do this intro and get on with the tour. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Thank you. So here we are. We're on the uh, tropical side, the freshwater side, with the uh, community fish. Look at that. Look at the stripes on that one. Notice there's a lot of sponge filled this year. Some small discus we have. I love the red eyes on the discus. Yeah. Nice small baby arowana here. Here we have some quarry cats bouncing around. Some nice tetras. Look at the red in those tails. It's just beautiful. And there we have some tiger barbs. Now this is the weekend, so you know they have it restocked. They restock on a, on a Monday. They supply on Tuesday more Tetris. Look at look at this guy. That is a beautiful fish. Look at the colors. Some nice angels. Definitely, definitely thinking about getting into angels, especially after uh, talking to my buddy at uh, Royal Fish Aquatics. Definitely think I gotta get those. Some more cardinal Tetras. Some iridescent sharks. I mean albino sharks. Look at those. Those are beautiful. Very nice. Some sword tails. Beautiful colors. You can see he was doing a water change. Some more community fish. The rummy nose. Hey, they do swim like they're drunk, too. Here we have uh, two, two juvenile uh, Fajaca puffers. At a great price, to be honest. There's some more Tetras. Definitely a place you can, you can come if you want to stock your uh, community tank. Here we have some uh, green spotted puffers, which I, I think I'm going to grab one of these as a gift to a friend of mine that's having a birthday. Nice rainbow shark. Some more Tetras. Oh, look at the, look at the colors on those. Oh, I love how they look. And we have some more nice schooling fish. Definitely nice schooling fish. I'd love to do those in a plant attack. Look at the colors on those garamis right there. My God. Those almost look like saltwater fish. Nice big shark there. Some nice rainbows. Tony's leg. And we have some nice uh, pond fish. Even though it's getting a little cold for a pond up here right now. But still, it's a nice to have indoors. Grow them out for next year. Some more community fish. Beautiful colors. I think that's the Serpa Tetra. If I pronounce that right, there's my stupid finger. Some rainbows up in here. So I wanna, I definitely wanna get some rainbows. 
as a convict. There used to be a bunch of convicts in there, but it looks like they got rid of those. It's a nice big, ooh, I scared them. Nice big Oscars. This is where I got my Oscars. Some more Tetris. Definitely has a great selection of schooling fish, especially if you're just starting out. Now move to the other side. And we have a little bit larger fish over here. Look at those. Look how they swim around. I like to get about 20 of those and put them in a tank. Another big arowana right here. This is the bigger size. Uh, D doesn't usually get them in too big. Oh, look at that. Uh oh. It's a Paku. Don't tell Big Rich. Look at the color on those parrots, though. I love how they have everything running off the sponge filters. This is, see that huge fish there? I don't know what it is, but it's huge. Here we, here we got more convicts. See how they got them uh, blocked off? Because they'll breed anywhere. Now this tank, this tank used to be filled with big assorted cichlids. I think it was $10 for the medium size, $20 for the large. Here we have his new, uh, the new saltwater setup. This thing is, uh, you know, it's relatively new. I think it's been here for about a month, but look at that Niger trigger. Oh my goodness. Love him. I love the way that, that's such a prehistoric looking fish. Nice lionfish. Nice damsel. It's always got such a great selection. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. I had one of those, my my stupid puffer ate it. So now look at the sail fin. Look at, this is a fish I wanna get into, but I'm afraid my tanks are too aggressive for it. Ah, oh, look at him. Look at the little porcupine puffer. <laughs> they are the cutest fish, I don't care. You know, he has a pretty big cichlid section on the other side of the room. You know, I have plastic plants in most of my aquariums. I mean, I was thinking about getting some real ones, but I was afraid I was gonna forget to water them. Oh, look at that guy. What a face on him. Now, I just recently got back into cichlids after getting, uh, after getting a dozen here, or I think it's 16 or 18 I got actually, of some uh, locally bred cichlids. You know, I, I think a lot of us do that. I think we get into cichlids and then, my God, they, they are difficult. Let's be honest, they're, they're very aggressive. So sometimes we get out of it and then we get back into it. Let me know in the comments down below. There's some beautiful black moors, lots of goldfish here. They do a lot of pond work in the, uh, you know, in the season. And it's getting cold up here now. So look at these guys. They're so goofy, they're adorable. Definitely gotta upgrade my pond next year. Definitely have to, but I have to uh, hide it from my homeowners association. Look at that guy. Oh, look at the colors on these. Love that. Love how clean his tanks are. Another beautiful, look at that, a black. A black one. Oh, the black koi. I almost want to get that just for a home aquarium. Look at that thing. Some more goldfish. Look at that, a nice, nice lobster right there. Just chilling out. Some more black moors. Oh, you can see that, that high fin catfish in the back. I want one of those too. There's some more bit. Look in there. There's, oh, look at the color on that lobster. That is, <laughs> it looks like Ralph Mouse hair. Who got that reference? Where's Potsy? Look at them. I just love the look on those. This He must have been a naughty boy, this one. Yeah, look at this guy. He's just hanging out. He's like, yeah, keep that dude in a cage. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I, I'm thinking of getting another tank because I have issues and trying some more cichlids. I'm doing so well with the ones I have now. I haven't, I haven't had one casualty yet. Oh, these are beautiful. Let me grow them out. Uh, there's another bad boy. Look at it. You better be. Yeah, you better behave yourself, young man. Look at this guy. I wonder which one's the aggressive one. Sorry about the glare, but I can't control the sun. I wish I could. Look at these guys. These are a little bit bigger size. Oh, those would be nice to throw in a big tank. He 
these guys here are going to be really nice when they when they color up and get a little bigger. Same thing with these guys here. The price is a great here, though. I mean, compared to the to the other local ones, the other local fish stores, the, the prices here are, are on on target. And I, I like I've said before, I, I've never had a problem with one of Tony's fish ever. Does such a great job with that. He will never sell me a sick fish. Look at oh, look at that one. Those are beautiful. Those are, it's a shame pond season is not in here. I know some of you people get to, uh, here we go, some albino catfish just uh, going crazy like they're on mat. They always scare me when they do that. Like they're running, gonna run into the glass and knock themselves out. Oh, look at the deep red on that one. Now, it was a busy week for plants here. You can see that uh, they pretty much pillaged all the plants. So, Tuesday to have some more, but like I said, I, I'm terrible with plants, I'm terrible. Here's the big one. Look at, look at these koi. Look at the size of these things. They're the size of rabbits. The colors, I can see why you guys, how you, you love your koi ponds. I can just see that, look at this thing. The way they swim, it's just, it's so graceful. Look at that orange one right there. With those spins on the back. Here's a couple looks. Just standing around the store. The new tank. Fresh water section. All the community fish. Now the question is, Vinny, did you buy anything? The fish poop in a bowl? Of course I did. I can't stop myself. This is my addiction, my fish hobby. So what did I get? I got some worms. Worms from my gecko, which I'm going to coat with the uh, calcium powder. I got, there he is. Just a, uh, it's a baby flower horn. You know, the price was really good. And uh, look at him. He's very active. Thought I'd bring him home. Try my luck with a flower horn again. I don't know if he's going to turn out to be anything great. He could be a dud. But I got to be honest, I, I don't mind the duds. I still think they're beautiful. And Boom. There he is, the green spotted puffer. I'm gonna give this to a friend of mine for their birthday. Friend, you didn't see this. I think they'll be really happy when I get that though. Let's see what else we have in here. All right, there we go. These are just some uh, feeder goldfish for my my turtles. I, every once in a while, maybe every month, I give, them, I give them some feeder goldfish to go crazy with. I try not to do it too much because I don't want them to get any parasites. What do I got here? Oh, yes, I got some more killifish. Look at these guys. I'm gonna add these to the two killifish I have, so now I have four. It's uh, watching you guys, your other videos, some of you guys, it's, I love these fish now. I love how they swim at the top too. They have such beautiful colors. They remind me of a, of a damsel, to be honest with you, in the saltwater variety. Now this here is something different I saw, and I just had to get it, because I have IC syndrome. I see it and I have to get it, but I do have a place for this and uh, I think it's going to go great. The size is what, what made me get it. Come on, Benny. What is it? There it is. Look at that. Look at the size of that. He's in his shell now, but that is a, a huge saltwater hermit crab and the price was, was phenomenal. It was, it was like $14 for this thing. So I have to drip acclimate him, especially when you do saltwater and, or any kind of, uh, any kind of non-fish, like, yes, an invertebrate, that's what I'm trying to say. You definitely want to drip acclimate. Don't just drop and plop, because they're gonna go into shock, and you're gonna end up with a really expensive uh, dead thing on the bottom of your tank. And there it is. This is the pump from the other video. Obviously, I did the videos in reverse order. This one took a lot more time to edit, but uh, you know, my videos take a long time to edit. I'm trying to peel the sticker off so you don't see, but those things don't come off. So, if you haven't seen it, go watch the video on my pump upgrade. And this week, I'm gonna be running all the plumbing, all the new tubing, to uh, pipe this out to all my tanks. And I'm gonna take you through that step by step. I'm gonna show you what I'm removing. We're gonna add up the watts, and we're gonna see how much electricity I save. That's the question, because that's what I wanna do. This hobby is expensive, and I wanna save some money. 
That was Operation Fishbowl and a little unboxing for you. I hope you guys enjoyed my local fish store, Fishbowl Pets in Stanford, Connecticut. Do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you think you're subscribed, go check the subscribe button because we've been, we've been getting unsubscribed from each other and our notifications have been turned off. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll be announcing my next live stream soon. But until then, thank you for showing up. And I'll see you next time on Vinny's Aquatics. Woo!